Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to get information of selected files in Excel using VVA macros. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor. So we're gonna call this macro get info of selected files and the first thing we'll do is to declare some variables. So we're gonna use a variable I'll call it cell files for the selected files and it's gonna be a variant. And then we will have U file for each file we select because we will be able to, to select multiple files if we want. And this will also be a variant. And now we are going to use the get open file name method of the application object. So we will set cell files equals the application dot get open. And here you here we have it get open file name and this method of the application object allows to display a dialog where we can select one or, or more files. So then we're gonna set some arguments and as you see the first argument is the file filter. So the file filter um, we're gonna filter all files so any 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 type of files. We could actually um, specify what kind of file, uh, for example, we could say we want to open only Excel files, or, right? And this is the, the format we need to use with the file filter, okay? So all files, asterisk, dot asterisk, we could specify a, a, a name uh, of the file or the extension. So in this case, all names, dot all extensions are are allowed to be selected. Okay, now comma, we will go for the next argument and I'm gonna continue in the next line. So the next will be the title. And I'm, we're gonna just have a title um, saying select files. And then we will have the multi-select. And multi-select, if set to true, allows to, se to, to select more than one file. Okay, once we select that, for each U file in cell files, so for each file we've selected, we're gonna get some information from the file. So, um, and we're gonna add that to the active sheet. So let me put here uh, with active sheet. And so first we will actually have our, our row uh, increment number, so each file will be in one row in the sheet, so I'm going to set that to R, and we can declare R here is an integer. Okay, and now dot range in column A, and um, th that's the end percent, and uh, row R, we're going to have the value is going to be the name of the file, okay? In column A, we're gonna have the name of the file. And there are different ways to get that because U file will be the whole path. It will contain the whole path and the name. We could use a split function to just get the, the, the name, uh, but it's much easier to use here the dir function. So if we just get the dir function of the U file, we will just get the name with the extension, okay? So in column A, in column B, we will have, uh, so column B, M percent, uh, the value. Here we will have the, the file um, date and time of U file. So that will be the, the date created. Or actually, is the, the date and time of the last modified of that file. And then in column C, we're going to have, um, the file length. So file length stands for, is the function to get the file length of, of U file. Now here we can end the width and we can go to the next U file. Let's play it and see how it works. So as you see, it prompts the dialog where we can select any file. And I'm here in, uh, in my documents, um, Excel macro class, Excel examples, 
and in this particular folder, but you can navigate to any folder you want uh, and, and you can select uh, any file you wish. And here we can select one or we can select more because we set the multi-select to true. And as you see, there are files of any type. We have a Word file, we have an Excel file, and we have a picture. So I'm gonna select all three here and click open. And then uh, we will get, as you see, we already got uh, in column A, we get the name of each file, so with the extension. In column B, we get the date created, which is actually the last modified date um, in this case. And then in column C, we get the length of the file in bytes. So, uh, you know, this is 27,000 bytes, uh, 16, and this is, uh, the picture is around 100 kilobytes, okay? So, that's how we get information from selected files in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.